Hello everybody, Ray Garrett here, and it is my pleasure to bring you the follow-up plans in Zap today. I am really excited about follow-up plans, changed my career. So let me tell you about the five topics that I want to briefly discuss here in this very brief video and the resources that are available to kind of follow up with them. So we're going to talk about five things. Number one is the status. You can't understand follow-up plans unless you understand the status and what Zap is doing. Number two, the auto assign feature. Follow up plans just automatically assign based on these statuses, so you'll learn that. Number three, you're going to learn manually assign plans. When you want to use your own follow up plans or you want to choose one of the follow up plans and manually assign those to an individual client, you'll learn that. You're going to learn how to adjust the plan. You're going to learn to adjust how the plan, how the email goes out, whether it goes out automatically or whether it goes out by you by hit, clicking a button. And you're going to learn how to adjust the frequency when it goes out. So uh, those are those are important as well. And you'll learn that. And finally, you're going to learn how to create your own email template and email plan. Um, follow-up plan. So let's get started. Like we said in the beginning, we are going to go into the follow-up plan status. Now if you go to your login to Zap and you log into Dashboard, you'll have the statuses ac across here. We're not going to go into an in-depth discussion here. Uh, there, will, there will need to be some study on these so you understand them. And there's an accompanying document, which is just a Word document that says status versus relationships. And it will show you how Zap automatically determines the status of a client based on that client's activity. Now you see what happens is that Zap is always trying to create a relationship between you and a client and they are de determining these relationships by how active the client is on the website and how active the client is with you. And so it's important to read that document. So that's the status. The next thing we're going to discuss is the auto assign feature. On in Zap when I click on the left side, I'm going to go click on Manage here and then Follow Up Plan Library. The top right, you're going to notice two buttons. One says Auto Assign Plans and one says Add a Follow Up Plan. Now the Add Follow Up Plan we'll get to in a few seconds. This is if you want to create your own follow up plan based on emails that already exist or your own emails that you've created. But right now what we're going to talk about are the auto assign plan. So I'm going to click on that feature. What that's going to do is bring up a series of emails here that are automatically assigned based on the status. So if I've got a buyer who is a new buyer, this this client will automatically become fall into this new follow-up plan here and there are a series of emails and phone calls the system suggests that you take. Now if that new follow-up plan was clicked off, you wouldn't the client would never go on that plan so you have to actually turn these on before they'll start working and you can turn them off if you don't want if you want to send out your own plan you can turn these off and and set up your own so let's take a look at this follow-up plan just to kind of understand how it looks and how it goes out so really the new follow-up plan here is just an email and a phone call I'm looking forward to helping you and an initial quest in request for information phone call if you want to see what those are you can you can uh, click on the little plus sign here. Now, if you want to change what those are, you want to add emails to that, you can certainly do that by clicking over here and you can change that follow up plan. Okay? So, those are that. Now, the seller has one, the buyer and seller, and then there are even some for renters here. So, get to know these and study them in your, in your business and your presentations. So, those are the auto assign plans. Now, what I mean by auto assign is, is that the system will suggest suggest an email but it will not send it out automatically for you you have to set that up yourself let me let me show you what I mean by suggest I'm gonna go up here to the dashboard here for a second we're going to click on one of these status now these are these are clients that I have that are showing active and due for a follow-up in these statuses so I go here to this Cynthia Kirk I go over here to actions and I click send an email when I do that the dialog pops up and you can see an email is already there already there now I might have to alter it a little bit but it is already there for me to use now this is suggested email I don't have to use it I can I can then go in and select something else from the script library but this is just the one that I'm on but you can see it was auto assigned the email was automatically in there and that's what auto assigned means now in a few seconds I'm going to show you what the auto email is now those are the those are 
statuses here will typically, if all of those are on, will typically have an assigned plan. So I'm going to go into incubating here, an incubating client, and we're going to see Johnny jump up here. We're going to select send an email, and you can see that there is a, uh, there is a, the next thing is a phone call that I should be doing. This is a courtesy call. And so that's the next suggested item, suggested touch point on the, on the follow-up plan series for this particular person. Okay, so let's move to the manually assigned plans now. I'm going to go into the, the, the follow-up plan library, and we're going to take a look at some of the plans that are already there. There's a, there's a number of plans that are already there. Uh, let's say, for instance, we've got the, um, the ASAP automated plan. Let's just take a look at that one. That's just the first one that caught my eye while I was talking here. I'm going to click on this, and the plus sign is going to show you what's there and so let's say I really like this uh, let's say and it's got the Cardis update there let's just say I really like this one now let's go in also and take a look at what it looks like on the inside so I'm gonna click on this pencil right here which gives me the ability to go in and make changes if I'd like to okay so what happens well as soon as possible they'll get this one which means that it'll go out pretty much automatically and you can see it's an automated email now I've got choices it can be a personal email and a personal email just means that I've got to click the button just like I showed you an automated email nobody clicks the button that thing just goes out okay and then you've got a second automated email here that goes out three days three days after this one this is 30 days after this one not 30 days from the beginning but 30 days after this one it's another automated email and the finally is a personal email that it's sent out so let's just say hypothetically that I want to go in and change this one to a personal email as well well watch what happens this one says are you still searching for a home that's a very specific email you can click the plus sign if you ever want to figure out what that looks like right but I'm going to just minimize that for real quick. Now watch what happens if I want to change this to a personalized email. This is going to go away. Little quirk of the system, I know, um, but it's just how it works. See, it goes away. It's really so. What I have to do is I have to go in and choose that script and re-add it again. Are you still? And um, then you can see here that there are there are a few there. So. Um, we can go in and select this one. I believe that's what this one is. All right, so are you still searching for a home? I put it back in here. Now it's the personal email. Now let's say I want to change the day. I want this to go out two weeks afterwards. And there you go. I've now changed those two things. And what I'll do at that point is simply save. And you've changed everything, okay? Now I will show you as well. I'm going to go into manage. Uh, now I didn't save this because I didn't want to overdo that. I just want to demonstrate. So I'm going to go into email script library. There are lots of really great emails in here um, that have been created by agents, managers, sales professionals, coaches like Tom Ferry and people like that. So you can go in and search and read through these emails. But I can also create my own email and save it. And I will be the author so I can access that anytime by just clicking up here and saying me. And then once I've created my scripts, I can go back into the follow-up library and add a follow-up plan and create a brand new follow-up plan that's my follow-up plan, and I can choose my own scripts to be in the follow-up plan. I have that level of customization here. Okay, So those are the basics about follow-up plans.